Hey, have you been looking for an easy way to transfer your iPhone contacts to XL? Well, if you have a Google account, I can show you how to do that very quickly, and that video is gonna start right now. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I do videos about photography and about technology. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a very quick and fast way to transfer your iPhone contacts over to XL. There's a lot of reasons why you might wanna do this, but I'm not gonna go into any of those. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. First thing you need to do is grab your iPhone. Let's go to settings. From settings, let's go ahead and click on your name or your picture right there at the very top. Let's click on iCloud. And then if you scroll down, you'll see iCloud backup. Make sure that you have iCloud backup on. You can also go to apps using iCloud right here in the middle of the screen and click show all. Scroll down and make sure that contacts has the slider turned on. Okay, once you've done that, we're gonna head over to the computer and we are going to log into iCloud.com. Okay, go ahead and open up your browser and from your browser, type in iCloud.com. You'll need to sign in with your Apple ID. Once you're signed in with the Apple ID, you'll come to your dashboard here. The next thing you wanna do is go to your contacts. You can either do that down here in this little widget, or you can go up here to the top right-hand corner, which is where I prefer to do it, and click on the multiple dots, and then go to contacts. You should see all of your contacts come up here. The next thing you're gonna do is go down to this little wheel, which is kind of like a gear icon. Show actions menu, click on that. Now we're gonna export a V card, but don't do it just yet. If you wanna do individuals, you can go ahead and highlight the individual contacts and then export them. But we're gonna export everything. So select all, then go ahead and click on that icon again, and we're gonna export V card. You'll see that it's downloading a V card. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your Google account. So go ahead and go to Google. For me, Chrome does it automatically. We're gonna click on contacts. And then you see over here where it says import, we're gonna go ahead and click import, select a file, go to our downloads and open. Click import and you'll see down here that it's going to work importing those contacts. Now it says all done and I can go ahead and click close. The next thing you need to do in order to get all of those contacts out to Excel is you're gonna go to export. When you click on export, you have a couple of selections. So right here, it says imported on 312, 264 contacts, that's correct. The next choice you get is either Google CSV or you get Outlook CSV. By the way, I didn't show you here, but if you were to go and try and import the VCF file that we exported from our iCloud, what you would see is that Excel would recognize it, but then when you tried to go and import it, it would just be a bunch of garbled stuff. You wouldn't be able to make heads or tails of it. So this is why I'm going into Google first, and I'm allowing Google to interpret it, and then I'm going to export from Google. If you choose Google CSV, it adds a whole bunch of other fields that you really don't need, and they're kind of hard to interpret. I choose Outlook CSV because it's much, much much cleaner. Just go ahead and click on Outlook CSV and then hit export. You see here that it's exporting and now it's downloaded contacts CSV. Okay, so I'm bringing my finder over here. I've got the contacts that I just downloaded from Google. I'm going to go ahead and open those with Excel. Now you can go ahead and scrub your contacts in Excel and if you want, you can re-import them into your iPhone or into your iCloud or even into Google depending upon which one you want to have have story all your contacts. I use this to clean up my contacts regularly and this is a fast and easy way to get it into Excel. Hey, before I let you go, I wanna let you know that I'm working on a beginning photography course. It will take you from, I do not know anything about my camera and my phone and I don't get very good pictures all the time to being comfortable and getting predictable results. If you're interested in that, I've got a link in the description below. Give me your information and I will email you when that course is ready to go. If you did find this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. Until I see you in the next video, my friend, keep it simple.